Hey everyone, it's Siobhan here. So today I am doing Princess Marcella's hair and she is Queen Cersei's only daughter. Um, she has a very brief scene in the first episode of the second season and it was really difficult for me to make out what she was wearing in her hair but um, I paused and then I rewinded a few times and I kind of got the gist of it. But this is only going to be inspired because as I said, I couldn't quite see all the details at the top. Before I begin, I just wanted to tell you guys the names of the lipsticks that I wear in my videos because I've gotten a lot of comments and messages about them, um, particularly this one right now. And uh, it's these two lipsticks, they're both by NARS and um, they're completely matte, um, which means there's no shine or anything and they kind of, they're very pigmented and they just sort of stay on your mouth for a very long period of time, which is awesome. So you don't have to do all those touching up stuff all day long. Um, anyway, the red one that I've been wearing in some of my previous videos is Vesuvius, or Vesuvio? Vesuvio. And um, this is kind of what it looks like. It's really awesome, I love it. And uh, the one I'm wearing right now is called Carthage. And I know that it looks neon, but it actually isn't. It's just a very um, bright fuchsia pink. And um, I wish that the camera would pick up the right color because um, I don't think it quite does it justice. But um, I wanted to share these just in case you were interested in what it was that I'm wearing or like the names of them. And uh, yeah, got them from Sephora. So I'm gonna start off by making my part down the center. But um, if you end up liking this style, this is really similar to what Heather did for season one, um, Sansa's tournament hair, which I'm going to link below. And I thought that was really beautiful. And um, I actually wore my hair like that for a couple weeks in a row. So um, this is just sort of another um, variation of the same kind of style. To just make this a little easier on myself, I am going to make a section here like a half part. Once you've got the part kind of divided, I've got the ponytail in the back to keep that section out of the way, you're going to make sure that this hair is split evenly. You need the same amount of hair on both sides of your head. This is where I think I might improvise. Um, what I could see of the hairstyle was that these bits in the front were obviously braided and then they were swept up and sort of curled inwards like this and then pinned on the top of the head. Um, she didn't have any like French braids or Dutch braids or anything like that, but I decided that I might do like maybe a braid or something going into it. Uh, so yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to do a lace braid with hair being added from the underside. And for those of you that might be new to my channel, a lace braid is basically a French braid um, where hair is only added to the underside strand or into only one side. because I don't have enough hair. Um, I was just playing around with it and basically these braids, they come up and they form a circle with the ends being tucked in. And the braids, they actually, they're supposed to kind of meet right here in the center. But um, that looks kind of silly, right? Because it's not enough hair. So what I was thinking is that I'm going to take some more hair from my crown here and divide it and make it into two braids so that I have a little bit more of a filler. Um, for these circles at the top. With the hair from my crown, I split it into two even pieces and I'm going to braid each piece towards my face. I feel like if you had really long hair, you would be able to just get away with having the one braid here. Um, but I just needed this. This is an extra sort of filler um, of my little loopy loop. But before I pin these up, I'm actually going to do the ones in the back. So this seems to be kind of a southern style thing where the loose hair in the back is divided into two pieces. And then at the very bottom, at the base of the neck, they're kind of 
sort of looped over one another like this. And actually I'm going to loop it one more for good measure. And then they're brought over the shoulder. Marcella is a really little girl, so the rest of her hair was just kind of um, braided in these little pigtails over the sides of her shoulders. Since I braided towards my face, I'm going to leave it on top of my first braid. I'm going to bring it around here to where I can feel the part. I'm going to loop. I'm just going to pin that in place for a second. Doing the same with this one, leaving this braid on the inside. Bringing it here. And you want them to touch. Don't worry about any bobby pins sticking out. You just want to establish the shape and um, then you can kind of go back and repin and readjust. So far, this is what I have. Now, I'm really disappointed because my braids are super thin. They're definitely not thick enough, but um, what can you do? <laughs> anyway, I still have two more braids to add in. So I'm going to take this braid and I'm going to wrap it under and over, so kind of like a figure eight. And this one's going to go under and over. Now I'm going to tuck the ends of my braids with my little open pins, so it's easiest for me. You can do it however is best for you. There you have it. This is Princess Marcilla inspired hair, and this is what it looks like on me. In the original scene, she did not have lace braids, I could tell that much, um, but the, the shot kind of cut the back of the head off a little bit, so I really couldn't tell what was going on up here, which is why I ended up with this sort of figure eight kind of a, a braid dealio. Um, I think that this is a little young for me. I probably wouldn't wear it like this um, if I was going to. If anything, I would take these down and maybe curl or braid wave the rest of my hair and just leave this up but um i hope that it's something that you guys will like um or something maybe you could wear to a costume party or what have you <laughs> um anyway that's it and i hope you guys like this video and i will see you in my next one bye i just wanted to show you guys really quickly that i took out the bottom braids and i instantly thought that this was um a little bit easier to wear on a more day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, just the, the bottom kind of hanging down loose and um, I think this is sort of an interesting shape. So I would probably wear this. Um, I do have bobby pins in. They aren't bothering me at all. In fact, this is pretty comfortable and um, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. All right, see ya.